In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the consolidate command to combine two worksheets into one worksheet. So if you have two worksheets that have either similar or the same data, say sales numbers, and you want to combine those, there's a very easy way to do that in Excel. So let me lay out an example for you. I have the spreadsheet here, and this is where I want to pull in all of the data. And I have two other spreadsheets. Now these are, for instance, say sales reports for the past year by quarter for a particular office or a particular store. And I want to combine them to see how many parts we sold in total of one particular part. So I have part numbers over here, and then there are sales numbers right here. Now for the two spreadsheets, the part numbers are not in the same order, and they do not contain the same parts. So one store sold different parts than the other store. And the point of saying all that is the data is not in the same order. So each row is not identical in terms of the part numbers. Now what I need is I need to be able to combine all of the sales numbers for the particular parts in one spreadsheet. And also I want a dynamic. So I want this spreadsheet to change every time one of these sales numbers changes. Now this is in the past, but say we were in quarter four right now, so these numbers were being updated on a daily or weekly basis, then that would be more important. So let me show you how to do it. It's called the consolidate feature, and you go up to the data, and then click consolidate. Now before I explain this, it's a good practice to have all of the spreadsheets open that you want to use, but you don't have to have them open. And the spreadsheet here is the one that I want the data to come into. So now let me explain everything here. First you have the function window. So this is everything you can do with the data. And oftentimes, and in this case, we want sum. So what the sum is going to do is it's going to add sales numbers for particular parts together but you can get all these other things like average, max, min, etc. So we're going to click sum. The next thing is to get the reference. And this is going to be the reference on the worksheet that you want to pull the data in. So what cells on what worksheet do you want? And this is where it's easier, it's good to have the other worksheets open. So what I'm going to do is click this button here, then I'm going to go down to select the worksheet that I want it from and I'm going to highlight the reference all of these cells but what I want to do is I want to highlight more than just these rows and columns and that's be, or just these rows that's because what if I add another part so what if the store takes on another part well I want that to be accounted for so I'm gonna add a bunch of extra rows say down to 30 then enter now, once you have the reference, you have to click Add. So Add will add the reference to the All References window. And now the next thing is to get the other spreadsheet. So I'm going to go ahead and click this button again. I'm going to open my second spreadsheet, select all of this data down to row 30, hit Enter, click Add, now I have both data sets added. The next thing to note is the use, label, use labels in. Now you have top row and left column. You do not have to select this, but if you do not select this, your data has to be in the exact same order. So what that means, all of the part numbers have to be in the exact same order for that to work. But it's not going to work for me because the stores kept the part numbers in different orders and some have more parts than the others, or different ones. So what I want to do is use labels in top row and left column, and that's going to make sure that they all add up correctly. The next thing is to create links to source data. Now if you leave this unchecked, you're going to have a static consolidation. So what that means, you're going to pull all of the data in, and it's going to be correct. But if one store updates their numbers, it will not be reflected in the consolidated worksheet. So if you create links to the source data, any time a number is updated, it's going to re be reflected. So I want to create links, then click OK, and all the data is pulled in. 
So we've got part numbers here on the left. And we have quarter one, two, three, and four sales. So that's how you can consolidate the sheet. So now let me explain a little bit of what's going on here. There are a bunch of plus signs on the left. And when you use the consolidate command, what it does is it puts numbers in here with simple sum formulas. But if you click the plus, you will see here that each one of these is a formula referencing that cell from the particular worksheet. And so that's how it's going to dynamically update everything. So let me give you an example for part ASD034. For quarter four, it says 766. But like I said, we're, all, we're still in quarter four. So let's update this. Say this store for ASD34, they don't sell 303, but they sell 440. Hit enter. Now I want to go back to my consolidated sheet. And it's updated immediately, so 903. That's the benefit of consolidating the worksheets and also of creating the dynamic links. Now one other thing I'll just quickly mention, in the upper left hand corner you have a 1 and a 2. If I click 2, it's going to expand all of the uh, parts so you can see all of their dynamic links. Click 1, it's going to close them. So that's a uh, quick overview of using the consolidate command in Excel. And I do provide these spreadsheets so you can take a look at them if you want to follow along on the website.